Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be going over how to use the Divi Accordion Module. So before we dive in, I just wanted to mention that I have a discounted affiliate link to Divi below, and you can use that if you don't already have Divi. It will get you at least 10% off, sometimes 20, depending on if they have a sale or not, and that's WPWithTom.com slash Divi. If you decide to use it, I greatly appreciate it. And also, I just wanted to mention that I'll be posting different videos on each of the modules within Divi and the basics of how to use them and edit them. So if this is interesting to you, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And with that quick intro out of the way, let's dive into this Divi Accordion module. So right here, this website is basically just one of the pre-made layout packs that they have on Divi, and it's for a copywriter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna go right down here and add a new section I'm going to insert a new row, a full width one, and I'm going to just go and click accordion, the first one right here, as far as the modules go. So right here, you can see that by default, it populates and it says your title goes here, and then there's content here, title goes here, content here. So what we're going to do here is I'm actually going to go and click on this, and by doing that, it duplicates it. So we can just click on that, and it adds a third one right here below. So I'm actually going to go and just click on this to edit, and I'm going to paste in some different things related to basically a copywriter. So I'm just going to go and type this in, blog articles, I'll paste it right in there, and I'll paste in the content as well. So this is where the content is, you can see right here. And if I were to go and get rid of that and replace it with something else, I can easily do that. So by default, mine's bolded, I'm actually going to go and click this to make the bold go off. And then I'm going to go down, I'll just click save on that, and I'll click on the second one here, and I'll do the same thing. So the second one here is called SEO Strategy, I'm going to put that as the title. And then I'm going to get the text over here that I also want to paste in, and I'm going to put that below. I'm going to do this for three of them here, so I'll just delete that, and I'll paste in the text, and I'll click here to save those changes. And then for the last one, I'm going to name that one product reviews, which is also something that somebody might write about as far as copywriting writers go. So here is the last little blur of text, and I'm going to put this down below, and I'll paste it in. So now we have three different sections, I'll just save right here, in our accordion. You can add more if you want, and you can easily just add a new one like this, or copy it and then replace the text like I did there. And something I almost forgot to mention here is that you can actually reorder the different accordion elements within this section. So if you want a product reviews to be above SEO strategy, you just click, hold, and drag it and drop it. You actually can see it changing on the screen right here if you look. So let's go and make product reviews at the top. And then let's just say we decide we want product reviews back at the bottom. You can just click, hold, and drag it to move it back here to this bottom section. And that's a fairly easy thing to do within most of the modules within Divi itself. And then I'm going to go and just click save to save those changes. So by default, we can see that we have this little icon over here on the right. And it's a little bit difficult to see. It's this grayish color. I'm going to go through changing some of the basics in design to make this fit with the site a little bit more. So this site uses orange as a main color of the site. And you can actually go and grab that color orange. So if you wanted to, you can go right here. Click on that screw icon, go to design, go to button, and then you can find the orange color right here. So if I were to click on that, it will give me this code right here, the hex code of what it is from the color picker. I can copy that and I can save that maybe in a Word document or a text file and then keep going back and using that same color throughout the site. So I'll just go and click X because I actually don't need to change anything in that case. And I'll go back up here to the area that we want to edit. So I'll click on this one on the inside, the intersection of the module settings. So I'll just click on that, and then I'll go over to where it says design to start editing. So within here, I'm going to go down to icon first, and icon is that little thing on the right side we see right here. I'm going to go and make that white for this example. I know that makes it harder to see right now, but I'm going to change that as we go through. So if you wanted to, let's just make it red so you can see it, but right here you can actually change the size. So if you wanted to increase it, you can increase it so it's a little bit more visible for people. You might want to have it around, I don't know, 20 if you're going to change it like that. I'm going to make it white though in this case. So then if we go down, we have different options. 
So I'm going to go to where it says toggle next and it says open toggle background color. So I'm going to click on this add color and I'm just going to paste in that color that we just had from down here. Now if you want to you can go into color picker and choose a different color if needed. That's totally fine. And what you also can do is if we scroll down a little bit it says close toggle background color. So I'm going to actually paste that in here as well. So now we have the same background color for each of these. Something that you might want to consider doing is having the one that's open. So this one that says blog articles is actually open for people to read. You can actually go and change the background color of that one in particular so people's eyes might go to that one over the other ones that you're using. You can also go and make it any color you want here. I'm going to go and just make this the same color as the other ones. So once I'm happy with that I can close the toggle area like that. And here I'm going to go down to where it says text. You can actually change the text alignment. So if you wanted to, you can have it in the center, right, whatever you want. I'm going to go and leave it as the align to the left by default. And here I'm going to scroll down to title text. So I'm going to make this white so you can see it a little bit better. And then I'll also make the title text for all the other ones white as well, not just the open one. So if you wanted to just edit the one that's open in particular, again, you would use this section up here. If you want to edit all of them, you would use this and then you would have them go into effect. So by default, it says title font default and that's default to the theme or whatever we're using here. I'm going to go and make it Lato. So if you wanted to search for a font, you can do that. I'm going to use Lato. It's one I've used many times before. And then here it says title font weight. You can change that. You can make it more bold if you want. You can see it gets a little more bold right there. You also can increase the title text size and make it a little bit more bold. So if you wanted to, you could have it like 24 maybe, and I'm going to make it 24, and I will take the bold off, and I'll just make it regular. So I think that is a good font size. You can adjust it as needed to fit your needs. And then if you want to, you can go and change it to be closed title text and edit that as well. And I'm going to just leave this one as is for now. And from here, I'm actually going to scroll down, and I'm going to go to the next section, body text. And I'll click on that. Again, you can change the alignment if you want here. Change the actual body text. So maybe you want to make this one Lato as well. And if I make that Lato, I might want to adjust the size of it. So right now it says body text size. You can see if you increase it, you can increase the size of it. It looks pretty different once you start adding to it. I'll just make it 16 pixels for now. And I'll change the color to be white. So I think this looks a lot better. And it goes with the site with this white and orange. It just fits a lot better. And then if we go down here, we can go down to the next section. And this one I'm going to go into is box shadow. And right here, I'm actually going to use this one right here. So you can see it gives this little shadow around the edge of the boxes. If you want to make it stand out a little bit more, you can change the color picker and make it maybe a little bit darker. And you can see that it gets a little darker around the edges when you change that. It's totally up to you if you want to change this or add it at all. I like to have the box shadow. I think it makes it pop a little bit more on a website. So I'm just going to go and leave that as is. If you want to, you also can go up here and change how much the blur strength is. So if you wanted to increase that, you could and change it like that. I'm just going to leave it as 18 in this case. And then I'm basically going to just go and save the changes for this. So you might notice that right here, once we save, that it's basically like right up on top of this next section right here, this next row below it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go and grab the bottom like this, hover over it and grab it, and I'm going to drag it and just open it up a bit. So maybe I'll make it like 100 pixels or so right there, and that will increase the spacing between these two sections. And that is a great way to at least divide up the sections a little bit. You might want to have a gray or an off-white background and then a white background, something like they do right here on this by default. You can see this gray area right here. It's very off-white and then it's a white area. You can do that as well if you want to break up the sections, but I just did it like this for now and just expanded the padding in this area. So that about wraps up the basics of the Divi Accordion module. You could honestly do some more with this module if you wanted to use some CSS or if you know how to use CSS to make some changes to it. But for now, I really just wanted to cover the basics here. And I hope that you found this video to be helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Divi module videos. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.